and an Omaha organization focuses on making kids the future of the world, creating a foundation where family is at the center and the community that supports them is inclusive. Yeah, on today's Spotlight Sunday, we have the pleasure of introducing you to Completely Kids, and joining us is the Chief Development Officer, Lacey Locklear. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely, so just start off by talking about who is Completely Kids? What do you do for the community? Absolutely. Completely Kids' mission is to create safe, healthy, successful, and connected kids and families. And what that means is really a holistic approach to serving our kids and families. So whether that's through our after-school programs, our adult education classes, our teen engagement and employment opportunities, weekend food support, or mental health services, we're really here for the family in whatever way they need us. And what kind of things are you doing at the after-school programs for the kids? Absolutely. So our after-school program really is enriched in what they're learning during the school day. So whatever they're working on, we have fun activities after school that are reinforcing those concepts. So clubs like Harry Potter Club, where the kids are making spells and writing, you know, things like that. And just, you know, ninjas doing basketball, soccer, anything that you'd want your kids to participate in after school, our kids are doing the same thing. Absolutely. And we're ending 2023. So looking back to the year, how would you say the community really relied on you? What do you think you accomplished for the year? Absolutely. One of our biggest things is the growth in our mental health programs. Um, before COVID, we would serve maybe just under 100 kids. Last year, we are just under 1,000 kids served with wow. free mental health services. And the beautiful part about our programs is we understand what a work day looks like for our parents, what a school day, and how important it is to keep our kids in school. So what we really focus on is our licensed mental health therapists go to our kids in after school. So our parents can finish up their work day. They cannot have to pull their kids out of school, take off time work to be able to access those services. We're able to bring them right to them. Now touching on that mental health, mental health we know coming out of the pandemic, did you think you would see an increase in mental health needs and services? We did not expect the increase that we saw, that's for sure. Um, definitely, there's always been a need there, but I think the pandemic really just allowed people to feel more comfortable um, about talking about it, about accessing their needs, and really just being vulnerable about what kind of support they needed. And then 2024, looking ahead to that, Completely Kids is focused on brand awareness too, right? What does that entail? What does that mean? Really just trying to get our name out there. We serve up to 2,500 kids a year and we are local. We do not have a national affiliation. We are keeping dollars right here locally and serving some incredible families. For our uh, year end appeal, we're able to highlight a different family every year. This year, Anna, we are able to highlight her incredible story of a time she needed completely kids that she wasn't expecting. In the summer of 2022, she uh, lost her significant other unexpectedly. And overnight, she needed completely kids in ways that she never thought. She needed mental health support and grief therapy for her girl. She needed weekend food support. She even needed some help with the holiday time to make sure that her kids had the same experience they'd always have. And because of incredible people in the community who have supported us, we're able to help families like that every day. Alrighty, thank you so much, Lacey, for being here with us this morning. And for more information or to make a donation, head to their website, completelykit.org.